Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Today on the channel, we're going to be doing a pretty big review. Um, this is a, a hefty one here, but uh, if you've been watching my uh, TikTok account, or if you're following me on there, you saw me unbox this one uh, not too long ago. And of course, I had to get all decked out for the occasion here, so... As you can see, I'm going to give you three guesses to what we're reviewing today. Um, but as uh, you guys all probably have guessed, that you saw the title, we are going to be reviewing The Godfather. This is the 50th anniversary 4K special edition collectors, whatever. This is the big, huge box set. <laughs> this is a huge set here. I mean, this thing is bigger than my head. Uh, it's got a little slip cover on the back here that I'm actually going to remove for the time being. But yeah, unboxing this thing on my TikTok account was just unreal. Uh, this is just an amazing set. Uh, it is five discs. Uh, we've got, you can see here, I'm just going to show you the disc because the, the booklet is pretty, is pretty huge here. So you have the Godfather here in 4K. And then of course you have part two here. Uh, Godfather Coda, The Death of Michael Corleone here. And then a bonus disc that actually has two more versions of Godfather Part 3 and then a bonus disc. And today on the channel, I'm going to be reviewing these uh, basically five films, pretty much. Going to be talking about the picture quality, the audio, and the uh, special features as well at the end. The one thing I was going to set out to do with this review was to compare this to the previous Blu-ray set that came out years ago. Now, the one thing I have to talk about when it comes to The Godfather is that this has obviously been released plenty of times. This has been released over and over and over again. And the question I keep getting from people is, why would you buy this movie again after it's been out on Blu-ray for the last, you know, 13, 14 years? It's because of The Godfather. Uh, I, <laughs> um, the Godfather, to me, is one... The original film and the second film, at least, are two of the greatest films ever made. They are perfection on many levels. They are amazing, amazing masterpieces of film. And uh, me, personally, I enjoy the first film the best. The second film is its its own beast. It's an amazing film, uh, but it is definitely a, a different uh, kind of pace. It's a different kind of film. It's a much more psychological film to me, but it's still a masterful film. And they're all epics. Uh, Godfather Part Three again... Not particularly my favorite, but it does have some really fantastic moments. And now we have Godfather Coda, which is a new version of that film. Ironically enough, I like most of the changes that Godfather Coda makes, except for the ending. Uh, I know why they changed the ending. There are reasons to that. I won't spoil the changes for you here. But it's definitely a, a, a acquired taste kind of ending. And uh, I'm not fond of it, but I understand why the changes were made. Anyway, uh, going past that, comparing these 4K discs to the Blu-rays of, of, you know, years ago, I will say, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm going to cut right to the chase here, this is absolutely... A thousand times better than those older Blu-rays. Uh, this new restoration that they did on all the films is masterful in a way that we have not seen very many times. The movies look immaculate. The entire trilogy now has been remastered, restored, I mean recolor I mean everything about it has been redone to perfection they look absolutely gorgeous it's stunning all throughout out of the three I would have to say Godfather Coda and part three 
any version you watch of this film, uh, of the third film, I should say, uh, looks the best, in my opinion. Uh, and it is also a much more recent film. Uh, Godfather Part Three came out 30 years ago, while the other two came out, again, 50 years ago. So there's a 20-year gap there, and that differential uh, in technology of film uh, it has improved the, you know, the picture a lot. Now, I will say, uh, I started with the first film, watched the second film, watched Coda, and then I went and watched uh, the versions of Godfather Part Three. Uh, it's kind of funny how Coda is now like uh, replaced the original version of the of the third film. All three versions of Godfather Coda are the same exact quality in terms of picture and sound throughout. Uh, there is no there's no cost cutting measures they took there. They are all restored from the ground up. All the films. And that right there just goes to show you that they cared about this release. Paramount went above and beyond. They went through a hell of a process to restore these films. And I give them all the credit in the world because all of the films are just, they are perfect. And the black levels are spot on uh, 10,000 times better than they were on the previous Blu-rays. The color palette now is corrected and accurate in a way that we have never seen these films before. The movies themselves uh, are very, very uh, particularly uh, shot and developed. Gordon Willis, the cinematographer of all three films, shot these movies in a way that not many films are made, if any. Uh, Gordon Willis shot these movies and colorized them uh, with four points extra yellow and one point red, which is why the movies have this bronzish, like, gold look to them. And it's a wild color palette. It it's crazy. But the way they have restored these films, not only does it keep that color palette, but it also has it in a way now where it's palpable. It, it's, it, you can deal with it. The older Blu-rays definitely seem to really, really uh, run wild with that yellow and red. This seems to be a much more medium tone of it. The flesh tones are much improved on this, uh, on all three films. They are more accurate now. As I mentioned earlier, the black levels are perfect now. The opening scene of the first film, which is infamously dark, you can actually make out details now in that scene that I have never seen before. You just couldn't see them before because of the technology. Watching this in 4K with Dolby Vision HDR, and yes, all three films have Dolby Vision HDR. Even the other two versions of Godfather Part Three, the theatrical and the 1991 cuts, they all have Dolby Vision HDR and HDR10. And watching these in Dolby Vision was really an experience. Uh, it, it is another one of these films that it was like watching it for the first time all over again. Uh, I was in awe the entirety of all three films. It is that shocking. The highlights are so much more brighter than they were before. They are not overblown like the older Blu-rays. It seems they were trying to make up for the standard dynamic range on the older Blu-rays. These new discs now, it's extraordinarily bright but you can make out detail in those brighter scenes that you could not see before. Uh, going back to the opening scene of the first film, uh, Talia Shire's wedding dress that you see in that opening of that film now is much more detailed. The suits that you see in all three films, you can see little fibers uh, Al Pacino's hair, that really wild hairstyle that they gave Al Pacino, 
um, in the third film uh, is much more pronounced. You can kind of see the grays. Uh, you can see the aging makeup they used on him in that film now. It's much more pronounced. Little things like that are really amazing. And the fact that these films look so incredible now especially the first two uh, in the second film where Robert De Niro uh, wraps the towel around the gun and shoots and the towel catches fire and he kind of has to shake it off. The flames are just so vivid and the orange and yellows now, they just jump right off the, uh, right off the screen at you now. And uh, like I said, it, it is an experience to, to behold. And I honestly have to say that I recommend these films. This box set is amazing. If you can pick this up, it's amazing. The packaging of the discs inside, I'm not too crazy about, but everything else you get is really incredible. Uh, if you can't afford this, then the standard 4K set will do, but on picture quality alone, I give it a recommendation. It is amazing. This is honestly uh, one of the best 4K uh, movies that I own. All, all of them are. Uh, this is really getting close to that top spot in the best 4K discs that I own. The audio on these is the same uh, Dolby 5.1 surround that we got in the previous Blu-ray releases. Again, it's, it's too bad that we didn't get an Atmos track on these, but I understand why they wouldn't really bother with an Atmos track. Uh, the 5.1s are great on all three films. I, I didn't have any issues with them. The audio tracks were fine before. They do also include the original mono and stereo mixes of the films, uh, of all three films as well. The first two have a mono mix. I listened to them in the 5.1 and they were all excellent. Uh, the audio quality is crystal clear throughout. The music sounds amazing. And uh, I just, I had no complaints about the picture or the audio on any of them. The other big thing I wanted to talk about with this is the fact that we also get a bonus disc with, uh, it's gotta be the most special features I have ever seen on a single disc ever. There is a standard Blu-ray that's included in this set that has new special features on it, uh, some home videos, there's a whole uh, little featurette about the restoration of the three films. Again, amazing stuff. Really, really cool. And the, the other thing that's wild is not only does it have some new special features on there, but the Blu-ray disc, that bonus disc, also has every single previously released special feature from all the other times these movies have been released. So it has special features that are new, all the older Blu-ray special features, and it also has the even older DVD special features from when these movies came out on DVD like 20 years ago. Um, so it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing that they included quite literally everything. They even included the Easter eggs that used to be on the DVD box set as some, as an, as a special feature in there. Uh, I was, I was really blown away by the attention to detail. Uh, it is, it is amazing. Um, again, if you're a fan of these films, and let's admit it, who isn't, uh, these are just amazing films, but if you are a fan of The Godfather, I, I don't know how you don't already own this, but in all honesty, this takes one of the top spots in my collection as some of the best 4K discs. Hats off to Paramount again for making an absolutely stupendous release here of some of the most historically important films that have ever come out of Hollywood. Big thank you to Francis Ford Coppola and everybody else related to these films uh, for really making some masterful, masterful pieces of film. 
If you want to pick up this box set or any of the other Godfather uh, releases, I'm going to put links in the description below. Uh, and if you use those links, I get a little kickback here on the channel. So I'd really greatly appreciate it. Uh, that's pretty much it for my review of The Godfather. Uh, again, uh, thank you so much for subscribing. We recently uh, surpassed 2,000 subscribers. So if you are not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell icon so you know when I come out with more videos. Of course, if you like this review too, hit that like button. That helps me out a lot. Until next time, please stay safe and take it easy.